Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is based around kind of the old idea off of another video where I downloaded the ISO file for Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix for the PlayStation 2 and wanted to try to mod the game. Well, we weren't successful. Da da da. Who would have thought? I got a Nintendo Switch recently that was jailbreakable. Jailbroke it, put a PSP emulator on it. Games run great. Holy cow, the Nintendo Switch is amazing. I downloaded Midnight Club 3 for PSP, which, side note, completely legal. I own the game on physical UMD. My PSP is broken, though. And honestly, I'd rather play on a slightly bigger screen like the Switch or even my PC. I wanted to see if we can mod the game. So, first thing we're going to do is dig through the ISO file, which I've already kind of done that. You can see that here, but I want to explore it with you guys. So, first of all, you have your UMD data file. You have your system directory with your updates and eBoot files. Those aren't really all that important. You have your sound bank uh, files. You have your modules. These are like codec files, kind of like you would see on Windows, so you know what media formats uh, to play, or Windows knows the media formats to decode things and actually let you view it or hear it. Then we have the music folder, which amazingly, AT3 format has some very good guides on Reddit for PSP modding to make your own AT3 files. So here's how this is going to work. This is probably going to turn into a series, which, awesome. This is like episode zero. What can we do? We know we can do music and sound effects anywhere that is an AT3 file. So we're definitely going to do a custom playlist for this game because I think that's awesome. I don't know if we are able to change the text in game. That's again, that's the point of this video is digging through, seeing what we can do and what we can't do. But definitely want to make a custom playlist for the game because that's going to be awesome. Video format, there is also a way to do custom videos in the PMF format. As you can see here, there is a video on projectdiva.net for doing PMF files, which is really freaking cool. So that means you could make your own cutscenes and mod this game to the point that you could write a custom story through the cutscenes. Now, that doesn't mean you can really do much with the actual game itself. All the races are still going to be there and all that stuff. But you could do your own cutscenes, which is a big thing you can take and handle the story and tutorials, make your own. I didn't mean to do that. Go the hell away. I wonder if these just straight up play in VLC. I kind of doubt it. But it doesn't hurt to try. Holy cow, they kind of do. Wow. Midnight Club 3 intro. Holy crap. I don't know if the audio is there. Uh, VLC. Yo, okay, this is kind of sick that we can just sit here and play PMF formats right on Windows. This is sweet. I love it. I don't know if the audio is there. It's buggy. There is no audio in the PMF file. It's it's shitty, but it works. Um, tutorials, you can make your own. Story, you could make your own. Rewards, you can make your own. That's really cool. You can even make the custom uh, splash screen and SD logo and probably put your own logo in there if it's a modded version of the game pretty cool and then there's this big one terabyte or one gigabyte oh my god could you imagine a one gigabyte file that is psp asset.dat that is the bulk of the game now what does this look like in a hex editor it has my name in it i am oh you can't zoom in on that I am a file format. <laughs> it has my name in it. Uh, so, pretty simple thing. There is a tool called Quick BMS, which, lucky enough, 
somebody has made a script for Dave Mirrors Freestyle BMX to extract Dave files. Kind of weird to call a file of my own, but you can come in here, you can download Quick BMS uh, from the Quick BMS page right here, the generic file extractor, and then just download the script and put them all in the same folder, as you can see. And if you want to extract the files, you simply just open Quick BMS. It'll open this first. And to save time, I already extracted the files. You select your BMS file, and then you go back and you select your asset file, and then select your folder where you want it to save. Hit save, and it just starts extracting. So we can extract everything out of PSP asset, which is freaking cool. Now, what does that mean? What did we find? Well, we found the entire game, pretty much, which is awesome. Because if you have the entire game, then you have the ability to actually play some stuff. So, like, there's asset base, which this is an outline of the assets. And it has the date and times for the files. Even, like, the serial number of the hard drive volume the files were being modified on. That is freaking cool. Uh, this is when the game was being worked on. 5.52 a.m. somebody was doing all this stuff. There's like assets.zip, which assets.zip is probably what's extracted. There's no zip files in here, so nothing to leak, unfortunately. But there's just everything in here, and it says this is how many bytes were free on their computer. What is that? Bytes to megabyte. Wow. Bytes, hold on. No, gigabyte. That's 26 gigabytes. So that's not that big. But even still, remember the computers in 2004, 26 gigs was probably a lot. Uh, if we go in, there's backdrop, which just lists the image that you'll find in here. There's like positioning and stuff like that for the menu. You could actually go in and like adjust lighting and sizes and highlight color. It, that's sweet. You can mess with the highlighting color. There's so much in here you can actually mess with. It's amazing how much of the game is just text file. And it even tells you the name of the file, so you can actually go in and try to find these. Just use the search in Windows to find the specific file. Blank is, well, blank. Camera cutscenes, it insane. Cutscene list tells you what the cutscenes are. Uh, let's see, what's another text? Final cutscene, post-race formations. Yo, you could move the cars around? I think that's what this is. That is cool. Okay. Uh, vehicle export data. That's their drive, their volume label again. There is so much in here that is so cool. 15 gigs. EP350Z04. So all the cars are just here. Uh, I want to find more text files first. It doesn't look like there are any more. So let's look at the car model in a hex editor here. Um, It's me again, and that is very strange. I swear this isn't staged. I didn't go in and modify these files beforehand. I'll even open up another one, Corvette. Dave W. <laughs> So 350Z is Dave M, which anybody that knows anything about me, my last name starts with an M. I wonder what these files are. Uh, I'm going to try quick BMS with it because they are Dave files. Let's see if I can extract them. Dave. Extracted. Uh, Jetta. I just saw Jetta. I daily drive a Jetta. We're going to try the Jetta. Uh. Let's go back, create a folder. Technically doing this on an external SSD, I probably, oh my God, it extracts the assets. So we can extract the car assets. That is sick. So this is the resources, the vehicle itself, VP03 Jetta. It's these PSP PCKs though. 
So here's the issue with that. I don't know what those are. Clearly these are mesh files. I don't know if we can open mesh files. There's nothing in here that leads me to believe I can open these as text files. Let's try 7-zip. This is kind of just how you go through and figure stuff out. You mess with it. Please don't tell me it's another Dave file. No. Okay, so these are different. I'm not sure what these files are. I don't know if we can extract these. The only way to know is to, again, just try it. So I found this other BMS uh, script. One second. I already moved it over. I forgot. We're going to run quick BMS. Go BMS, Midnight Club PS2, which doesn't do much. Largest file is this one. New folder, just call it X. Save. Signature 4 byte doesn't match the one expected in the script. This one, 81FODOA. Expected is hash, which is 48617368. So it did not extract anything, basically, is what it's telling me. So, obviously, that was a PS2 script. I didn't expect it to work. Um, I've tried searching for this file type. I can't find anyone online that has messed with this file type. Um, we can even open up some of the smaller ones here and just see what they are. All of them are gibberish. Okay. That's a mesh file, so I'm not surprised. Maybe we can mess with vehicles. This would take somebody who actually understands... Uh, this kind of stuff, like 3D models and all that, to actually extract that stuff and get it to work in some way. I'm going to delete that for now. Let's keep going. So we know we can extract those files, but what's in these folders? So animation has anim, simple enough. Uh, what's the biggest one? Let's see. 36, marketing cam, 03, race start. Let's see what it looks like in a hex editor which is the best way to figure things out like this. Any one. Got it. Gibberish. Of course. Best thing to do? Open up the Quick BMS web page, wherever I have it, and just search. Any one. Any. Uh, that doesn't look like it's going to help. Next car game. Yeah, none of these look like they're actual things that are going to help. So all you can do is download the scripts and try it. But at the moment, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to make this video three hours long. Let's look at audio because we already know about the other audio formats. What in the... Okay, this is load screen stuff. Let's see. It's a raw format, so it probably opens with... Uh, it's not supposed to open with snipping tool. Open with. We're going to try VLC. Could not find audio codec. Okay. So, next thing you do is, like I said, open it in a hex editor. See what it is. And then you can figure out a potential codec by looking at the header of the file. But there's not really anything there. Some files have it at the bottom, which is really weird. Nothing at the bottom on this one either. So what we do from here, again, Google it. PSP raw audio format. So PlayStation.net actually... Oh, wow. This is a really old web page. Uh, AT, yeah, obviously. MP3. So what happens if I throw an MP3 format song? Hmm. Anyway, that doesn't really help us. PSP audio in dot bin format. 
Zentex and ROM hacking are always so useful to dig through. Music format. So let's see what they found. Music, there's .mus files. Each song is RIFF with a few bytes. It looks like WAV format. And almost mono would be 10 megabytes per minute. Three minute track. And okay. Not really anything that helps us there. But we can try to figure that out later. PSP banks. More file types that I don't understand. Let's see. Impacts. It's in audio format, I think, because it's in the audio format folder. Uh, let me turn up my audio real quick. Hold on. It does nothing. Got it. So we open it up in a hex editor and take a look. PSP bank, I'm guessing, is a compressed file or something like that. Or it holds multiple files. Let's see what that one kilobyte file was that's down here. These TD files. Open them in Notepad++. That's what I thought. They are text files. Okay. Turbo high. Interesting. They don't look like they do anything. They're just audio, so there's not much fun to mess with there. City. Atlanta, Detroit, and San Diego. Graph. Graph file. Text file? It is a text file. Graphs. I wonder what this means. Somebody that knows 3D modeling probably knows this better. So... There's a lot of stuff here. Holy crap. I don't know what any of that is. I'm not going to worry about it. Occlude. Let's just open it here. Everything, so much of this game is just text file. I love it. Oh my god, there's so much you could do. You could kind of change the visuals of the entire game just because of this stuff. AIB, I doubt this is TSV1. I don't know what that is, but that's okay. AIB, AIT, AIT. Okay, AIT is something you can open up too, but there's probably not much you can do with it. Textures. Dot text. Let's open it with a hex editor real quick. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> uh, doesn't look like there's much here we can really mess with. GT, this is probably text. Awesome, text file. Ambient lighting, messing with it when it's raining. You could make it darker or a little lighter. That would be sick. Directional color lighting, cool. Good to know you can mess with. There's so much here you can mess with. I freaking love it. You know, this... Uh, it's going to be the same thing for other cities, so we're going to get out of the city folder. Let's go cutscene. What's in the cutscene? CS file. That's usually like a C sharp file. It kind of is. It's like a strut. A struct? Strut? I don't remember what they're called. It's been too long. Anyway. Structs. Events. Ooh, I like event files. That means you can mix with it. I don't know what that voice was. I'm so sorry you had to deal with it. Okay. Just camera stuff and positioning and all that. Got it. Cutscenes look fun to mess with. Race start and all that. There's a lot of stuff here. I bet you there's some hidden stuff in here too that's not even in the game. Flash. This makes me wonder if there's Adobe Flash elements. Uh, I kind of doubt it. Yeah, I figured that's what that was going to look like. Do the hex editor again. See if there's anything we recognize. Ooh, there's actually, like, proper text in here we can read. Wait, is this pricing? Can we edit the price of parts? Wait, wait, wait. Notepad++. Hold on. How did I not even see that? Can we edit the prices of parts? Yo! Can we edit the specs of parts?
I'm guessing it would have to be character matching. So, like, the cheapest we can make this would be a thousand, um, for example. Is there any other plain text in here we can read? Always look in the big blocks. There is, I just saw some. Plus E47, who knows? Actually, maybe not anything we can read in there. There's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot we could do. I am thoroughly surprised at the amount of stuff we can do in here. I'm hoping there's no like file scanning for the game to know. So that's the big problem on PS2, is the files have a hash that has to be successful, basically. It has to pass the hash. Has to pass the hash. Sounds like a drug conversation. Um, it has to pass all that for it to... I saw McLaren F1. I wonder what if there's any cars in here that are just not released. That would be sick. Loading screen stuff, reward stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. So that's not what I thought it was. There's font files. Can't do anything with these. Uh, FX files. Can we do anything with them? I kind of doubt it. Doubt it. Mesh and type. Type, I'm sure, is a text file because it's small enough. Aggro chunk mesh. That's the size of it. That's cool. I wonder if you could... The radius of the aggro. You can probably at least mess with that or mess with the bound. That's interesting. So I bet you can make aggro go further out from your car than it's supposed to. Pretty cool. That's something to mess with for sure. Aggro is probably the best effect in the game. Capture the flag stuff? Really? I don't remember there being capture the flag in Midnight Club, but maybe this version is different. Mod files. I hate mod files. I don't know how to mess with them. I'm sure there's tutorials out there like we've found for other things here, so... Okay. Bike shadow. Different stuff in here. Pretty cool. Pedestrian stuff. Just animations. Can't do anything with it. For now. Physics lib. So, this is a file I would like to mess with. The way they were. So were physics messed with? And this is just like an old list? That is interesting. So there's default as or default physics. You can mess with so much. There's like asphalt. Oh, so wait, what's is there a difference? On these, no. I bet there is with like, let's say, physics list. Okay, it's just the physics list. Where's grass? Give me grass or dirt. Grass or dirt. Are they different? A hundred percent different. Awesome. Weird that they're different in that way, too. So you can mess with the physics of how the car handles on certain surfaces. Badass. That gives us a big opening. PSP icon. You can mess with the icons. Not a big deal. PSX icon. Okay. That's nothing. Resources. What can we do in here? City. I did not want this video to get this long, but... More stuff we can't do anything with because we don't know what these files are. What's the biggest file in here? Midnight Clear. I wonder if these are the map files. That would make sense. Is there any plain text in here? Doesn't look like it, at least for this file. Let's open up the smallest one. Uh, hood map. That's a good file to open up because that's probably, yeah, that's just the hood. Cool, cool. So you can probably edit those as long as you could figure out how to open them up. 
props. Same thing. All these PSP, PCKs. PSP pack is probably what it is. Vehicles. So this is something I really want to look at. Where's my Jetta? Ducati. IJK. Where is Jetta? There is Jetta. So let's look through this file. I'm sure there is at least something we can mess with. There's so much open in here. I need to close it. I bet you... Well, I, I don't want to say I bet, but like I'm fairly certain there's probably stuff in here we can mess with. Like here's all the parts. That's pretty cool. The spoiler, the hood. This is probably, like I said, a package file. So this is going to hold all the 3D model mesh files in it. There's probably some text files in here too. Here's like the shader, the drop shadow, the masked chrome. I want to know if the specs of the vehicle are in here in some form of text. I'm going to pause this and actually dig through this whole file. Hold on. Was there a Hyundai Tiburon? In... Midnight Club? There was not. I googled it. Interesting. Why does it say Tiburon? Well, we know what they were trying to get in the game then, I guess. But I still don't see... There's a lot. This is a big file. I still don't see anything pertaining to, like, car specs and all that. But I'm... I bet it's in here, but it might be slightly encrypted or... However this file is set up, who knows. It would be a lot of digging to find it, and it would probably be almost easier to... Well, here's more mesh files. So I think this is just a package file. And then it's got the list of the file, and then the file after the list or before the list. So we'll just have to find a way to extract the file. And I bet I know people that would be willing to try to crack this, but for right now, at least we have an idea on some of the stuff. Golf R32... Pretty cool. Sources. So it's pretty cool. We can see the vehicles. I would love to figure out how to edit actual vehicles. Rider. Oh, this is for the motorcycle. That's pretty cool. Shader lib. So these are the shaders. That's freaking sweet. That's for the city. Ambient body. Chrome. Chunk. Emissive brake light. I bet these can be text edited. They can, but there's not anything in that one that's interesting parallax ooh actually stuff in this one sick fog blend and all that that's sick but any of these ones that are one kilobyte don't really have anything in them oh they do text combine the base color I want to mess with this stuff so bad so that's interesting that that's there. EX. Textures. Dot TEX. I don't know how to open these. I'm sure we can. Uh, hood. I bet. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, I can't even attempt to open. Nothing there. I kind of figured. Cool. We'll figure that out later. Tune. Ooh. GMA. What is a GMA file? I bet you it's something I can open up with Notepad++. It's not. Dang it. <laughs> Everything that file size so far has basically opened up. Uh, let's go HXD. Ah, uh, this one is a text file. <laughs> I've been tricked. <laughs> Uh, okay, fog start and stop. So this is, oh, you could kind of mess with, there is so much you can mess with. I want to mod the shit out of this game. Oh, this is going to be fun. Credits.cs, hold on. Do I have something that can open up CSV files? Oh, it's the credits, literally. That is sick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's Dave? Because he named the file types after himself. Damn it! <laughs> David. There's a couple. Music. Music. 
team, David Powell. Okay. Davidson, Davidson. Oh, it's going backwards. Oops. There's a lot of Davids on the team. Cool to see that CSV file in here, though. New backdrop two. Cool. Backdrop. Big text file. PS2 movies. Xbox movies. Ooh, so you can make different movies play on different versions, maybe. San Diego, Detroit. So there's a lot of stuff in here you can mess with. That's sick. Let's see. Tune, audio. Just naming the files. Okay. City. These are just city wall tune. Interesting. 300 bytes. Start speed, end speed. Okay. I don't know what that is, but... uh. Colors, I like colors. I can mess with it. Number of colors, RGB stuff. You know, we are not going to know what any of this does until we just do it, is the problem. There's mix, aggro. Ooh. Please be a text file. Oh, there's so much we can do with this. Sick. I mean, it's all the same, so we aren't going to know, again, unless we actually change it. Explosion, roar, roar is another good effect, but this is all audio stuff. Transitions.play. Oh, music transition. Okay. Pre-race. Just text files again, playlists. Pre-race. Erase.data. Huh. Okay. More text files. Should have figured. We're in an audio folder. Let's see. Camera. There are so many folders. I knew this video would end up long, but I was really hoping not this long. Cam tracks. Mm hmm. Text file. Everything's a text file. I freaking love it, dude. There's so much we can do because of it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, VP, Bel Air, Charger, Chrysler, CTSV, Fleetline. These are camera tracking tools. If we go to Jetta, for example, uh, POV, reverse, chase cam, so we can mess with the different camera angles. Oh, that is sick. App, app on, blend time. I'm sure there's like XYZ, track two, look at, offset. This is cool. Oh, there is so much we can do. So much we can do. I love it, dude. Checkpoint stuff. Mm. Text file. Okay, that's just... Checkpoint stuff. City stuff. Reset, train, controller. Default control map. I really need to close stuff in here. Hold on. Controller mapping. Should have expected it to be exactly what it was. PC con The game never came out for PC. Why is there a PC controls file? That is inter... They, I mean, they were probably testing it on computer. So that makes sense. But why didn't they ever release it for PC if there's PC files here? This is keyboard only controls, mouse, controller pad, a wheel. Dude, this game would have been sick on PC. Creature. Pedestrians and stuff, whatever. Effects. I want to find car stuff. Where's vehicle? I want to go vehicle. I'm sick of digging around. Aggro stuff. Let's see. Is car in here? Vehicle list. Any new manufacturers go at the end of this list. Don't reorder the list. Okay. Can car be on fire? The Mercedes cannot be, but a lot of other stuff can be. Oh, it's possible. 
top speed, handling, acceleration, maxed out car, no way, oh, it's messed with a bull, we literally found vehicle specs, oh man, oh, I'm happy, okay. We are messing with one thing before we close this. We are messing with the Jetta. Manufacturer, we got that. Co-range start. So what we're going to do is kind of compare it to a different car. So co-range start is 10 versus 14. We don't know what that does, so we're not going to really mess with that. 77 versus 110. Performance base, 217-593-277. Versus the SRT4 is a lot better for the performance base. Let's see. We're going to go the Group A car. That means I can move it, too. I, I Actually, I think I'm going to mess with the Golf. Nah, we'll do this. We'll keep, Wait. I see the perfect car to mess with. The IS300. This car with the 2JZ in real life can book it, man. Anyway, we'll go back to the Jetta because it's one of the cars you can start with. So let's see. Acceleration is 217 versus 247. Um, stock, I think I'm going to leave it alone. But we're going to change all of this. So top speed, we're going to make this 4. We're going to make handling even better. We're going to do everything 0.1. Is there, like, car pricing and stuff in here, though? Let's search the word Jetta. So that's the stuff I already changed. So that's the only place the Jetta is mentioned in here. Pretty cool. So we're going to save that. Well, first we're going to duplicate this because... If I mess with anything, I want there to be a trail. Vehicle. I just saw a file called custom data. Is that the folder I was in? Hold on. Vehicle, vehicle list. Okay. There it is. So we're going to save this. Cool. That is now modified. So we need to keep that in mind. What's custom data? Paint jobs. Miscellaneous part colors. Okay, neons. I wonder if I can add a custom neon color. Paint job list. Metallics. These are probably in the code or something somewhere. I don't want to mess with those. Wait. That was window tints. Hold on. Black, blue, green, orange. W, T, purple. I don't know if that's going to do anything. I doubt it. But, nope, we're messing with just the Jetta. Hold on, my bad. Because I have one. Jetta. MC is it a text file? Please be a text file. I want to mess with it. Sick. It's a text file. So these are probably RGB values, uh, 0 to 1, if I had to go guess off of all this other stuff. Nice. So there is a, there's stuff we can do in there. Good to know. Damage. I bet this is... Yo, okay, how the vehicle looks when it gets damaged. That is sick. So you can modify this even. Passenger window issues and all that stuff. That is pretty cool. We can edit that. All right, we're done with custom data. Ambient tire smoke. What can we mess with? Yo, you can make the uh, tire smoke, you know, mess with that. Backfires, backfire auto. Okay, I want to mess with backfire. Upshift sound backfire. 
volume base eight to one. Sound, there's not a sound name for it. That's interesting. Backfire trigger RPM, cut off RPM, backfire throttle. Ooh. I just, I want to know. I want to know. Can we really mess with it? Can we make some crazy backfire? Backfire throttle. Uh, backfire trigger. And it'll... We're going to mess with that. So I need to remember all these things that I'm messing with, too, is the other thing. Hmm. Test file. Default engine fire, engine smoke, engine sparks. There is so much cool stuff in here, man. Oh, I love it. Traffic. You can mess with the traffic cars. Oh, test? Dude, I love when there's test stuff in a game. Oh, I love it. Uh, rider, race editor. Oh, we know that's a text file. Race, power-ups, physics, I'm guessing is what this is. Physics for city cars. Pedestrians. I did not expect this video to be nearly an hour long. Oh, how much the pedestrian weighs. That's cool. Dude, the tune file folder has a ton of cool stuff in it. Okay, where's the Jetta? It's another folder with a list of cars. We have to look for the Jetta. Oh, sick. All camera stuff. Pretty cool. For when you're, like, going through parts. And then here's just the garage in general. Car angle SD, car FOV. Ooh, camera FOV. Really good to know you can kind of change the FOV in this game. Light intensity, that's sick. Good to know you can mess with FOV. I wonder if you can mess with it overall. So like racing, for example. Is there an FOV somewhere I can mess with? Not worried about it. Creature effects, garage, hood, pedestrian physics, power-ups. There's so much we can mess with in this folder. Tune is going to be where we live. Shared textures. Was I already in here? I don't think I was. Error log. Ah, oh, cool, JPEGs. Can't get to them, though. Vehicle shader list. Ooh, cool. I want to mess with the 18-wheeler. What can I do in here? Type, mesh. Skeletal, type. Ah, cool. I would... So, I have a theory that all this stuff is what's in those PSP packs. I would love to find a way to make these vehicles viable in the game. That's one of the big mods that a lot of people used to do on Need for Speed games. Was, uh, hey, Civic. Add traffic cars to raceable cars. I bet you it's possible. Just got to figure out where it is and why. Maybe vehicle list. Oh, I had to go to vehicles, don't I? Yeah, I have to go under vehicles. Let's see if... Traffic cars. Uh, this is the bottom. Eighteen. W. Not in here. Okay. Traffic cars are not in this file. Wheels. Audio wheels. Huh. Anyway. It looks like that's pretty much all the files. So what I want to do real quick is try to add a file back to 
um, the PSP asset file that we originally extracted here and see if it modifies anything in the game. So what you have to do for that is go to quick BMS and you need to do like re-import. So you do re-import, you select your BMS, uh, select input archive files. If you want to do the whole folder, you do that. We're going to do this. We're going to go tune. We're going to do vehicle. And we'll do vehicle list specifically. And it needs to go back into this, I believe, is what I select. Error unsupported file, open script, output folder. Hmm. Remember, this is also like BMS script. Click the archive file. Let's try once more. Click the BMS. You know, we're going to try to do the whole freaking thing. Save. Start scanning input. So it looks like it's going to try. Oh my god, it looks like it's... It's erroring out. Damn it. Error unsupported file type. Why? Hmm. I gotta learn how to re-import. Give me one second. Alright, I figured out how to re-import. So, what you need to do is open up your re-import.bat. You need to go to your BMS script. Then select the file you want to import to. And then select the file you are putting in there. So in our situation, we are going to tune, vehicle, vehicle.list. And you can also do the asterisk and it'll do this whole folder. But as you can see, it's figuring it out. It put it in, we hit enter, sick. Our file is imported. Now there's the, uh, this file is modified. As you can see, or at least it should be. Where is it? Wait, what? Hold on. Well, all we can do is hope. So what we have to do now is open up the ISO, <clears throat> go to PSP game, user DIR, and we can just add this back in. Hit yes, because it's going to, oh, oops, we need to use something more like ultra ISO. My bad. Hold on. So basically open up Ultra ISO, drag and drop your ISO into it. Uh, that's not what I meant, delete. Um, open, no, open your damn ISO because it's gonna be a jerk like that. Open the ISO, go to PSP game, user DIR. Yes. And then you want to save your ISO. So save as modded.iso. And it's going to create your modded ISO. So I'll be right back. So it looks like I need to find a different way to modify the PSP ISO. Uh, maybe Ultra ISO isn't the right way to do it. Maybe there's a different tool that's better. Uh, I've seen Power ISO mentioned a lot. The modded ISO unfortunately does not open. The original game does. It does still give an error, but this is something with the actual game files versus if I try to load modded.iso, it fails. It says that it boots it, uh, booted just like this does, um, Midnight Club ISO. But apparently there's something with the files, oops, something with the files it won't allow it to boot 
So maybe it's the modified PSP asset.dat. I don't know. I'm going to re extract it and see if there is that big of a difference. But I am not going to stop trying to mod this game because at least we know the files now. We know it's possible. We just have to get there and get the game to boot. If I can get the game to boot, we are wide open for modifying this game. And this is a game that I think would be way more fun to modify than any Need for Speed game out there. So, if you guys are interested in this series, this was a hell of a first episode. Let's give it our all. You know, maybe work together. Find some people that you may know that are also into game modding at this level with maybe game console games. And maybe we can start a community. We can get some PSP game modding going and figure it out from there. I'm going to do more research on actually modifying the ISO files of PSP games and see if maybe that's why the game wouldn't boot. It's maybe I did something wrong in the ISO creation. Uh, so that file is 102. File is 102. Is it right down to the same bytes? 960, uh, 424, or 960. 424. Yeah, it's acting like it wasn't even changed, interestingly enough. So, I just got to wonder if there's a different way to modify the ISO, and we just don't know about it. So, anyway, I'll talk to you guys in a future video. This is a hell of a first episode for what I think could turn into a very cool series. I'm going to work on trying to get the game to boot by modifying files, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.